six months. I've waited six months for this little package. It's finally here, Leo. If you haven't heard of this brand, I mean, I'm not surprised because they literally don't advertise. One of you guys actually sent me a message and you were like, hey, did you see this article? It was titled, the CEO of this exclusive leggings brand Google stalks her customers. Immediately that sounded like something that I would be interested in. <laughs> Let me give you a little bit of background on this brand. It was started by Chris Hildebrand, who was actually a former CEO of Nike. And she wanted to step away and create something very luxurious, very exclusive. One does not simply get on this website and buy the products though. You need a background check to buy these leggings. So in this particular article, they're interviewing the CEO and she says she Googles every woman who requests access to the brand through her website. It helps her weed out the people who might be trying to rip off her designs or resell her limited edition goods for more than the list price. Here's what really threw me off about this brand. If you go to their Instagram, first of all, they only have 10,000 followers, which for like an exclusive luxury brand, that's not a ton. Also, if you're looking at their feed, it appears that they don't have any posts. They actually have one post. It's just a white tile. You wouldn't even know it was there unless you accidentally clicked on it. And the comments are disabled. You know, normally that is like big flashing red flag. But I think that that's part of their whole weird marketing tactic that they have going on. By the time that I found this company, all of collection one was sold out and you had to fill out an application to get access to the upcoming collection too. So I sent off my application. A few minutes later, I received my first email from Kristen. Thank you for your interest in the company. At this time, we are sold out online of what they have and they will be offering a pre-sale. So that was in uh, October of 2018. Exactly two months later, on December 10th, I received my second email letting me know that the second collection would be available on December 18th. And because I am a highly valued member of one, which I'm assuming that means my application got accepted, I would have early access to it. Like it's legit. There's a special link and a special code that gets you into the site. So sure enough, on December 18th, I received notification that the website for presale was live. Just uh, rewind back to that point in time real quick. My application was accepted, but it's not even gonna ship until February. $175 for a t-shirt. Oh. Uh... Lee, how bad do we wanna make this video? <laughs> well, either this is gonna be my new favorite t-shirt or I just made one of the biggest mistakes of my life. This website is set up weird too. Like, that's all it is. What are they even advertising here? Shorts? How much is a sports bra? $100? $50? What the? Do these guys have returns or? Don't they know I'm not an all black kind of gal? Where's the color selection in this place? Are these leggings? Oh, we got leggings for 320 bucks. This is unbelievable. $645 for one outfit. Three things. I can get a three piece outfit at Fabletics for $45. Oh my gosh. Check out. Oh. What have I done? I bet you're wondering, why did it say it was going to ship in February, but I'm just now getting it in April? February comes and goes. Haven't heard anything from the company. March comes and goes, <laughs> and I haven't heard anything. So I emailed this Kristen Hild brand. She actually responded back quite fast and told me that this stuff was on the way. It was just weird though. I felt a little neglected, which also makes me question if she actually does Google the people that are buying. A thing or two might come up if you type in Hope Scope. I don't know. I guess when people like Kourtney and Kardashian are buying your leggings, I am but a mere peasant. I had to do a little bit of digging because why on earth is such a basic pair of leggings so expensive? Here's what I found. They are milled in Italy and France. So supposedly they are like the highest of the high end fabric. Hillbrand says these materials are generally only used in the garments worn by professional athletes competing at the highest level of their sports. It's pill resistant, color migration resistant, UV and chloride proof. They can be washed and put through the dryer up to 50,000 times without losing their stretch or their shape. So between that and how much it costs, 
my expectations are set pretty high. Okay, to the YouTuber. Before I open this though, I gotta give a quick shout out to today's sponsor, Honey. I am so grateful that they continue to work with me and sponsor these videos because it allows me to do crazy stuff like this. And also, it's just an app that I absolutely love. Both Tyler and I have been using Honey for over a year now. In fact, I was just shopping on Revolve the other day for some fun new spring stuff. Everything that I was buying on sale and Honey was able to save me money on top of that. Honey is a free shopping tool that automatically searches the entire internet for the best possible promo codes every time you shop online. It works on over 30,000 websites. I use it when I shop at Gymshark, Ulta, Forever 21, Victoria's Secret. It only takes two clicks to install. You just have to go to joinhoney.com slash hope. There's going to be a link right down below in the top of the description box. On average, people who install and use Honey save an average of $30 on their online purchases. All right, back to this. Wait, I want to see if any of it's actually available on their site or if it really did sell out as soon as they say that it did. Hmm, it still says that you have to have an access code to get to it. Fancy little black box. Fancy little black paper with a black sticker. And here they are. Let's start with the tea. So like I said, this was $175. It's just called the Classic Tea. I got it in a size small. They're calling it the couture of sports performance. Indestructible elegance. The tags are actually kind of cool. Just black with the logo printed on it. Instead of like a paper tag, it's made from rubber. It doesn't say anything on it other than the logo. All right, there it is. It is. Definitely unlike any other fabric that I've ever owned. It is like feather light. It's cool. <laughs> it's an oversized fit. Three hem cuts on the sleeves and on the hem on the bottom. So there's no seam. Like most activewear, you're supposed to just wash it on a cold setting and then let it air dry flat. I haven't even tried it on, but like it genuinely feels like a designer piece. This is called the U bra. It was $150. I don't think I've ever spent that much on a sports bra. I don't think I've ever spent that much on a t-shirt either, actually. I got it in a small. This is made from their Lux fabric, which is supposed to provide quiet, comfortable support. And here it is. That looks tiny. There's no way it's not light support because there's no built-in cups or padding or anything like that. Interior bandeau panel with additional stabilization. So it's saying that you should be able to wear it for higher intensity things because of this layer. Wow, the seam along the bottom is super interesting. At a glance, it looks like it's just that raw edge hem like the t-shirt, but it actually looks like they cut the fabric folded it over on itself and then like used some sort of heat press to flatten it down. So these fabrics are 41% elastane, 59% polyamide. So far, I'm not disappointed just because it is so different than anything that I've seen. <sighs> All right, the leggings. These are just called the one leggings. They were $320. I wish I could say that I haven't spent that much on leggings, but uh. I also got these in a size small. Kinda wish I would've gotten them in a medium because if they are not squat proof, I swear to Leo. These are also made from an elastane polyamide material, but it does feel plushier than the material that the sports bra and the t-shirt were made out of. Modest compression for maximum comfort. They are definitely more of like a sleek feel, but they're pretty matte still. They're not super shiny. And then the hem on the bottom also has that same kind of pressed seam rather than a sewn seam. I'm excited to try these. So uh, I took a break. I went to edit some of that footage from earlier that you just saw. And I'm wondering why nobody told me this hairstyle was a bad idea. I look like 50 year old Pippi Longstocking. Why didn't you tell me my hair looks stupid? Anyway, let's try this stuff on. Do, 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 do. I don't know about this. I feel like I'm wearing a swim cap, but on my boobs. Like, do you hear that? <laughs> Sounds like latex. <laughs> Got deodorant everywhere. Gives it that lived in feel. <laughs> okay, jokes aside, it's actually so comfy though. It's moderately supportive. Decent amount of coverage. 
decent amount of armpit fat hanging out with that. I like it. Do I $150 worth of like it? We'll see. I'm actually gonna work out in this whole ensemble tomorrow and then give you the update. But it's cool, it's different. Um, shirt. Lee, tell them a story while I'm changing. Tell them what it's like to be a doodle dude. Tell them all the things you'd rather be doing than sitting here right now. What? Are you kidding me? I'm never taking this shirt off. We need feel -a vision because I just don't think you understand. It's like ASMR with this weird new material. I am flabbergasted. This is the epitome of a workout t-shirt. Okay, leggings. Leo, um, full. These are real nice. There are not very many leggings that are made from material like this that are really like functional, slick. We'll see how much I like them when I'm actually working out in them, but like pretty flattering, pretty comfy, perfect amount of compression. They're longer than I thought they'd be. That's really about all I have to say. Right off the bat, the t-shirt's the only thing that like really blew me away, but I'll give them a fair go in the gym. There is a little thin seam at the top of the waistband, but it's not doing anything. I feel like they keep rolling over. See that? Rolls over. Um, Leo, anything else you want to add about this outfit? Anything? Nope, okay. It's 6.30 a.m. It feels like 2 a.m. I'm gonna go work out in my new outfit. Okay, but plot twist. I was actually feeling pretty nauseous for some reason this morning, so I had a pretty not great workout. But between lounging around in this outfit last night and some semblance of a gym session, I feel like I have a pretty good idea of my thoughts on this outfit. So I'm gonna tell them to you right now and then I'm gonna go wash off the spray tan because I feel like I look ridiculous. Still love this shirt. I don't know how I'm gonna convince myself to wear any other shirt to the gym, honestly. I'm about to fill my shirt. No. Wow. It's amazing. amazing. Huh? The only item that I really have complaints about is the sports bra. Just because it keeps digging in right here under my armpit. I think it's just the seam and where it hits. But overall, I felt like it was pretty supportive, really comfortable. Like I'm actually amazed at how supportive it is with how thin it is. And then as far as the leggings go, I mean, they really are top of the line. Would I pay $320 for them again? Probably not, but honestly, that's just because they're just, they're just black. I'm kind of more of a colorful or printed liking kind of gal myself. What are you doing? My only complaint with them is the waistband's a little weird and I think I just wish it was a little higher waisted. The thing that I was trying to explain to you earlier on when I was doing my weird tummy roll. When you sit down, you get the pulge, pulge, the pulge budge. You know what I mean. <laughs> and ideally, you would like for your leggings to sit on top of the pudge smoothing everything out. But when they're not high-waisted enough, they sit in the middle of the bulge, and then when you lean over, they roll down. The bulge pushes them up. <laughs> I'm done. I <laughs> Did they pass the squat test? Um, excuse me? Yeah. Will you check to see if my leggings are squat-proof? Absolutely. Then um, that's gonna be definitely yes. Squat-proof? Definitely yes. Amazingly, actually, which is great because I would have been really upset if they were see-through and I paid that much for them. Fantastic pair of leggings. I'm really excited to see what they do in the future. Hopefully they come out with some fun stuff. And I feel like I'm gonna get that dang email about how I'm a valued member and I have early access to collection three and it's gonna work. That marketing is gonna suck me in because they're making me feel important. So if you have just like a couple hundred bucks to blow and you want some really nice workout gear, Give it a try. If not, you can watch any of my other videos about dupes or my favorite Amazon pieces for $25. <laughs> Subscribe before you go. Download Honey before you go because it's an awesome app. And uh, I guess on that note, Leo and I will see you guys in the next video. You know what's coming. Say bye, YouTube. <laughs>